Hi, everyone. I'm George Yuba. And I'm Kristen Levins. And so I have a quick question to start off the session today. How many of you in the audience, this is a publisher-focused session, so how many of you in the audience are publishers? Raise of hands. All right, keep them up. How many of you have been publishers for about a year or less? Okay. Keep it up if uh, you've been three years. Okay. How many have been publishers for five years? Wow, quite a few out there. Okay. How many have been uh, the Decade Club? Ten years. Yeah. Very I nice. still see. I still see some. Okay. And the reason why I feel that publishers are publishers for quite some time is because they're innovators. They're painters of the internet. They are the ones who put together the websites, the promotions, the apps, everything that you see is by their creative minds. And there's a lot of years behind that. And speaking of experience, George and I have a combined 19 years experience at Commission Junction, with 14 of those years focused on the publisher side of the business. It's safe to say that we live and breathe this area of the business. And on the publisher development side, we're tasked of helping publishers make more money. That's part of the job. We do that through very specific ways, very strategic ways. Could be through recruitment. Or optimizing existing partnerships you have here at Commission Junction. Or by educating our publishers on the introduction of tools that we have brought in to the network for the publishers to use in their promotions. And the four major tools that we're going to be speaking about today are mobile, product feeds, paper call, and site to store. We are going to hear from our internal experts via video, providing you some best practices in working with each one of these tools, and showcase examples on how to integrate these tools into your business. Then we're going to review the best of the rest and showcase compelling fun facts on more ways to make money through CJ. Lastly, we're going to give you a little glimpse, a little taste of what's to come in the very near future. So be sure to stick around for the end, as I'm sure you will not want to miss out on what's in store with your relationship with CJ. I think this is the first time any trailer has been put after the main event, so it's all good. We have quite a bit to go over. So we want to talk about the consumer. CJU this year is all about engaging with your consumers. Kristen and I, just like you, are consumers ourselves. So for those of you who don't know us, we'd like to introduce you to the consumer side of ourselves. So again, my name is Kristen Levins, and I'm a proud mom of two young boys. I have a seven-year-old and a three-and-a-half-year-old. And similar to many mothers out there, and maybe a few of you in the audience today, I'm always looking for the best deal on the products and services that I intend to purchase online. Given my interest in keeping within a family budget, more so now than ever that I just recently purchased a new home, I'm always looking at coupon, deal sites, loyalty sites, blog and content sites on new ways to decorate my new home. So with that, today, as we stated, we're going to be showcasing examples. And the examples that I will be sharing with you will be of these business models that I just spoke about. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is George Yuba, and I live and breathe on this device. I had no idea. I am on my phone all the time, just ask my team. <laughs> so with that, I communicate a lot on my phone. And what I communicate mostly is News, traffic, weather, both domestically and internationally, people look to me to see if there's a big rig accident or something like that on the freeway. But I don't know when these events are happening domestically and internationally. I have to go to apps or content sites, portal sites to really get that information. And then I send it out on social networking through my mobile device, whether it be Facebook or Twitter. For those of you, uh, who don't follow me on uh, Twitter, it's uh, right here at <laughs> Top40DJ. So uh, you can follow it by the end of the session. It's on my to-do list, George. 
Great. Oh, you're not already joining. I, I, I'm waiting for this particular moment. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go into our tools right now. And the first tool, since I have my mobile device in my hand, is mobile. So here with more information on CJ's mobile initiatives and mobile certification strategy is one of our product managers, Aruna Bhaktani. Mobile devices have changed the way we navigate, communicate, and shop online. Did you know that in 2013 alone, M-commerce has reached $40 billion? That's up 50% from last year. Our goal at CJ is to provide our clients the ability to reach their consumers, no matter what device they use, to engage with their brand. It's a big part of our strategy to provide transparency into the mobile reach within our network through our mobile certification process, and also provide deep insights to help optimize mobile campaigns across different platforms. Our network today has over 1,200 advertisers that offer mobile-enabled websites and are actively recruiting publishers to drive mobile activity. Publishers can search for mobile-certified advertisers with just one click, which makes the recruitment process extremely straightforward for them. In addition to that, publishers can also search for mobile-optimized links designated by advertisers that are best suited for mobile devices. In order to offer deep insights into the m-commerce activity, we're launching a new set of reports called the Performance by Platform Reports. These reports are going to be available to both advertisers and publishers within the CJ Account Manager and will provide detailed information about conversions across different platforms and devices. This would help advertisers and publishers make better decisions about how to optimize their program further. We're constantly innovating here at CJ to be a trusted partner in this ever-changing mobile space. It is ever-changing. And one of the biggest initiatives that CJ started was the mobile certification process. This easy four-step process starts with implementation, implementing a pixel on a mobile checkout page. And once that's established, the advertiser works closely with CJ to ensure that tracking is sound. Once we've established and confirmed that tracking is working properly, we will then go ahead and issue the mobile certification badge on CJ. So publishers, how do you find out if an advertiser is mobile certified through CJ? Well, it's simple. There are two easy ways. First, you can go to the Advertiser Links tab and run a report. Simply check off the mobile certified advertiser and a list of those advertisers in CJ that are mobile certified will populate. Secondly, you can review it on, a mo on the advertiser's program detail page. On the top right-hand corner, there'll be a mobile certification badge, just like the one behind me. So why should advertisers take this step to become mobile certified? And publishers, why should you be thinking about your mobile strategy than ever before? Well, it's clear that mobile is a growing industry and that more people are using their mobile devices than ever before. In fact, according to eMarketer, smartphone users are up 52% from 2011. Furthermore, forecasting out to 2017, they're projecting there to be over 200 million smartphones. If you haven't considered your mobile strategy yet or are still in the initial stages, here at CJ we took a closer look at the top categories that perform well with mobile. Here they are, apparel, department stores, virtual malls, home improvement, travel advertisers, discount advertisers. Sincerely encourage you to take a look into each one of these categories while you're starting to look into your mobile strategy a little further. We said we were going to give you some examples of how you can utilize some of these tools in your practices. Well, if you are a mobile app, or you have a mobile app, or you have a mobile version of your website, this is kind of one of those items that is self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. You need to really promote those mobile certified advertisers, because at that point, you can be guaranteed that transactions will track through mobile devices. And as Kristen said, it's very easy to find. We're not saying to not promote mobile-enabled advertisers, mobile-certified advertisers on your promotions, because your users might want to see those advertisers. What we're saying is if you have any featured placements 
or top of the line categories or opportunities, those are the ones that are really going to be ones for the mobile certified advertisers. And we're certifying more and more advertisers every week. In addition to apps and mobile pages, emails, newsletters are being viewed on a mobile device than ever before. I'd say it's safe to assume that 100% of you in our audience today has opened up an email or a newsletter on their mobile device. Well, in fact, some sources say email open rate on a mobile device has increased by 330% from 2011. This is huge. And with that, I would suggest that we apply some of the insights and best practices, such as larger font, more images, concise, call to action messaging, such as sale ends in five days or today only. Here is a great way to apply it into a newsletter. And here behind me is an example of that. And that's, yeah, my example. So there's products up on the screen right there, individual products. And there's one way to get it. Kristen? Product feeds. So I'd like to turn our attention over to Alyssa Carter to learn more. Product feeds or product links are one of the best ways to drive ready-to-buy consumers to your site. If I'm ready to buy a new laptop and I have my heart set on a Dell Inspiron 17, my search term is not going to be Dell or laptop. It's going to be Dell Inspiron 17. If you use a product link, you are armed with longer tail keywords that convert. People who are looking for a specific product, brand, make, color, size, or model are at the purchasing phase of the buying cycle. They don't arrive on an advertiser's homepage or a category page. By clicking on a product link, they land on the product page and are one click away from adding to cart. So if increasing your audience and increasing conversion is something that you care about, product feed should definitely be a part of the equation. You don't have to be amazingly tech savvy in order to work with feeds. If you want to promote selected products, you can log into the account manager using our newly enhanced product search functionality, find the products that you're looking for, grab the link, and go. It's just as easy as using any other link type. And CJ's product team has developed a product widget builder that enables you to create custom scrolling banner ads, collages, and grids in a way that presents product links in a very dynamic way. While CJ Feeds provides services to advertisers, we're also here to support publishers as well. We know that you're the key element in the success of feeds, because if our advertisers have the most robust feeds possible, if they're not picked up and distributed by you, then they will not be successful. I would like to provide you with some additional insights and best practices in working with product feeds. First and foremost, product feeds are no longer for just price comparison sites. We are seeing success across the board with publisher business models. So I sincerely encourage you to take a closer look at product feeds to see how it can integrate into your business. So how many advertisers at CJ have a product catalog? We have over 1,900 here at Commission Junction. And all together, over a hundred million products. Now it's safe to say that we have that product that you're looking to feature on your holiday gift guide, on your deals page, or perhaps your newsletter. So with that, we took a closer look at CJ into the metrics on how pro product feeds were working. And we found year over year, 15% increase in commissions and a 31% increase in clicks. Now, some of that's attributed by advertisers launching new product feeds, publishers integrating product catalogs more so than ever. But we see this trend going to continue into the foreseeable future, and we're really excited about it. So I'd like to provide you an example here. Now, as I mentioned, I just purchased a new home, so I'm finding myself viewing the web on for blogs and content sites on new ways to decorate my home. Well, I found many sites just like this one, featuring a living room on how to breathe new life, whether that is with new flooring or a new couch, maybe a new lamp with a pop of color, 
but here really showcases how it would be perfect for a content publisher not, to, not only to feature the content that your reader is interested in knowing, but also those products that they're speaking about or similar ones so that your consumer or reader can click through and make a purchase on your site. But it's not all about retail advertisers that utilize product feeds. Different verticals at CJ have utilized product feeds in different ways, partly to communicate information. There are services advertisers, such as gyms, that utilize product feeds to communicate locations. There's restaurants that are being featured in our product catalogs. But one of the biggest categories to utilize product feeds outside of retail is travel. I love traveling. I love hotels. I love staying at hotels. I actually sleep better in hotels than I do my own bed at home. That's no lie for the people that know me. And what we did is looked at the hotel brands at CJ. Yes, we have some of the biggest aggregators that have programs at CJ. Hotels.com, Expedia, Travelocity, Priceline, CheapAir.com. We have them all. And it's great and you can promote multiple brands. But we also have the direct brands that work with CJ themselves. I'm gonna put another question out to the people in the audience. How many direct hotel brands work with CJ, and in addition to that, have a product feed of their hotels? How many people think, by a show of hands, it's around 25 brands? Okay, a few. How many think about 50 brands? A Couple more. 75 brands, a couple more, 100 brands? Pretty good. <laughs> a couple people that saw it before. <laughs> 94 brands, so almost 100 right there. 94 individual brands have their direct program at CJ and have a product catalog with all their hotel locations. Can you imagine the power of that information? Impressive. Put that into a hotel app. Utilize some GPS functionality in the smartphones. You could utilize the address or the GPS coordinates that are in the product catalog to start building out an app experience around booking hotels through your app. CJ advertisers can use a variety of different fields and make it their own. We have hotel advertisers that utilize fields for how many hotel rooms are in those hotels, some of the amenities at those hotels, even if they're pet friendly. Take a look at the mobile certification from the last tool, and now you can have a featured brand or a featured destination and have that be a part of the experience. And then after you stay at a hotel, log back into the app and have a social media connection with Facebook and Twitter and showcase that property and say, hey friends, I stayed at this property. Could all be tagged through the CJ product feeds. So some great opportunities there if you just think about the opportunity we have within the network. But in addition to booking online, hotels are one of those things where you might need to call somebody and ask a few questions about it. A few years ago, CJ created an opportunity for publishers to get paid on the phone calls, in paper call. So for those of you who may not know paper call too much, We've asked Nicole Ron from our paper call department to give us some insights about paper call. Paper call allows advertisers to pay publishers for driving quality phone calls to the advertiser's call center using unique trackable toll-free numbers. Advertisers can pay for quality phone calls based on the likelihood that they'll convert or sales. So why should you be interested? Did you know that calls convert at 15 to 50% and that transactions over the phone have an average order value that's one and a half to two times higher that than their online counterparts? These stats show that consumers prefer to transact over the phone. They can get the information they need and they can get it quickly. It also allows the call center rep the ability to upsell the consumer, which is why these average order values are so much higher. Paper call works really well for mobile. It's really natural to include a phone number with a display ad or an app where the consumer can click on the phone number to generate a call. Picking up the phone and talking to somebody to place an order is a much more simple process for the consumer versus trying to fill out a lead form online. And including phone numbers in emails or newsletters makes a lot of sense too. 
Think about how much time you spend on your mobile devices these days checking email. This is a much more simplistic interaction for the consumer. Publishers have started including phone numbers in their online placements as well. And we've seen that by including phone numbers, this adds legitimacy to the ads. In fact, ads that include phone numbers have click-through rates that are 7 to 15% higher. This shows that the consumer feels more confident interacting with somebody when they know that they can reach someone over the phone if they need to. This means that they're also more confident in making online purchases. So we've seen Lyft for standard affiliate programs as well. The best news is, paper calls really easy to get started with. Publishers can simply click on the paper call tab within their account manager. Once you've been accepted into an advertiser's paper call program, you can start provisioning phone numbers and driving calls today. One of the coolest ways you can work with paper call is something called web integration. And let me tell you about web integration. It's two lines of code publishers, just two lines. You integrate it onto your website, and then any link on your website that a user clicks on and it goes to the advertiser side. As long as the advertiser is web integrated, their 800 number will swap out for yours. So it's seamless to the consumer. And there's, I would say about half of the advertisers have started working with web integrated. So it's a great opportunity to really work with paper call. Another opportunity, especially for search publishers and loyalty publishers, is something we call ring pools. And ring pools are just that, a pool of numbers that you can use and attribute to a group of consumers or maybe an ad group in search. So publishers, you can really kind of go into the data and optimize based on the reports that are available. And the third final cool tool available within there is having the 800 number actually integrated into the display ad itself. So if you have the skyscraper on the side, could have the logo for the advertiser, maybe some marketing messaging, and underneath it, an 800 number, your 800 number, so that the user can click onto it or they can call the number directly from the ad. And Paper Call has brought in a slew of new publishers that have never been publishers in our network before. But it's also given our traditional publishers a chance to test new opportunities, maybe some offline opportunities like radio television, billboards on the side of the highway, or even online items like social media. But how big is this opportunity? How many transactions? How many calls have gone through? We took a look at the first seven months of this year. 1.3 million calls have gone through the CJ paper call system in the first seven months of the year. It's a big number. It's a lot of potential leads and opportunities for our advertisers via our publishers. And Nicole in her video had mentioned 15 to 50% conversion rates. Some publishers, you might have 5%. Some, you might have 50. We took, again, a look at the seven months of the beginning part of this year, and it's around 20% overall across all the publishers. 20% of those 1.3 million calls resulted in a commission to the publisher. Going back to my hotel app, now imagine if I use feeds and bring in the amenities for a particular location and a book online option via the feeds. Then all of a sudden you just add a book via phone. It's a seamless experience to your user and they can have a comfort whether they feel comfortable booking online or even booking via the phone. And taking a look back at our newsletter example here, we've integrated the paper call option. And really it's just giving you the chance to connect with your consumer in a different way. So for instance, in this particular example, perhaps at this price point with this beach chair, the consumer wanted to get maybe a, a swatch of the fabric or wanted to know what colors were available or if expedited shipping was available to them. Well, with this paper call feature, now they can engage, and now the publisher can get credit, earn credit for that particular phone call. I'd call to find out how much weight that supports. I'm a big <laughs> guy, and that looks cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a sweet chair. Yeah. So now we've got online, we've got by the phone. There was one part of the equation that we were missing. So this year, we created 
are site to store functionality, giving publishers a chance to now earn commissions for purchases made in store. So for more information on this brand new product at Commission Junction is the site to store manager, Jane Hamilton. Did you know that CJ Publishers have driven $5.5 million worth of offline sales in just the first six months of this year? And that's with only a small group of advertisers that were offering in-store coupons. Imagine if all of your brick and mortar advertisers were commissioning on affiliate driven in-store sales. Since the development of CJ site to store solution, we're continuing to introduce and integrate more advertisers so that you, the publisher, can earn more commission in more ways. We already know your hard work is driving in-store sales through brand awareness. However, we've never been able to measure or track this. Now, with CJ Site to Store Solution, we're going to know when a sale takes place in-store and be able to attribute it to the last click. And that gives the advertiser the opportunity to now reward you for that sale. And there's no integration needed from the publisher. Site to Store links will be available in the CJ Account Manager, just as any affiliate link would be with a promotional code. That being said, we do have some suggestions for best practices to be a first choice publisher for advertisers integrated with CJ Site to Store solutions. For example, consider having a tab designated for printable coupons only, or distribute regular weekly or monthly opt-in emails with printable offers. You can have printables available on your mobile app, and if you have the technology, geotarget to consumers that are in the areas of the stores. This solution is going to increase your bottom line. Now you'll receive credit for in-store sales that you drive, and advertisers will be one step closer to offering that omni-channel experience for their consumer. That's a win-win. It is a win-win, and we're coming out of beta with this, so we are looking actively looking for advertisers to join us in our site-to-store functionality. We are also looking actively for publishers that have this type of opportunity right now for their consumers. So if you have a printables coupon section or an in-store section, I want you to find Jane. Jane is here in the audience right now. Jane, can you stand up, please? If you have that traffic, find her, and she will get you on a short list, so that way when we get those campaigns up and running, she can contact you and get you connected with those opportunities. And there's some good functionality with it. There's the basic functionality, which you basically saw right there. User just clicks on the link, a code is generated, take it into the store, publisher gets the credit. There's also an advanced functionality available as well, and that gives you SID information for those transactions in the store. So we're talking about loyalty, cashback, search, even coupon deal sites that optimize off of SID, fashion sites that optimize off of SID. Now you can bring in that level of integration into your reports and find out more about your consumer. Let's take a look at how this would work in a situation on a mobile app. Instead of talking about hotels, let's talk about shoes. By now, that would be the online option. More info, that would be the paper call option. Well, let's say you're near the mall, you're checking the type of shoes, and you find this red shoe and you're really interested in it. And the advertiser has a 20% off coupon in store only for that day. As a publisher, you can now showcase that coupon within your app simply by adding a bar like we've done here below. And this is just some of the ideas. Get those creative juices going and there's definitely different ways you can present this offer to your consumer. And as Jane mentioned, one of the best practices that we've seen some of our publishers do is adding a separate tab on their website, in-store offer, so that your consumer can go ahead and navigate all of those printable coupons. Secondly, we have our newsletter example here. I've integrated, obviously, traditional online shopping, the pay-per-call button, and now the in-store. So if this particular advertiser had an in-store offer, here's a great way to promote it. As I mentioned, many of us are, have our cell phone devices on us at all times when we're going and making our weekly errands, going to the mall, how great would it be if your consumer has the mobile device, opens up your newsletter, and finds that 20% off discount for that advertiser that they were looking to shop with that day? Now, those are the four major tools that we want to talk in depth about. 
But there's some other cool tools that are available within Commission Junction. A little something we call the best of the rest. The first thing I'd like to do is announce we are launching product widgets. It's basically a chance for publishers to find products in our product catalog, add them to a group, choose a widget type. We had the grid, we had the slideshow, we have a collage for the creative types. Just drag them into those opportunities, hit generate code, and you can have a great looking ad available to your users. This is one of our slideshow carousel options. Want to hear something cool? Let's say that red shoe gets out of stock and is no longer available in the product catalog. You can actually use a little checkbox in the functionality and have that particular product not show in your slideshow anymore when it is removed from the product catalog. So no longer do you have to go in and regenerate the code. You can just let the code keep on going and it'll just take that shoe off when it is no longer available from that retailer. So it's very simple. Again, choose the product, choose the widget, drag and drop, and get the code. And if you want access to it, we got you some early access to it. Scott Stefan is going to be down in our lab throughout the day. He's one of our product managers. Just head over there, give him your CID, and he could turn it on in real time and even give you a walkthrough if you want. I don't know if Scott's in the session here right now, but uh, he'll be down in the lab throughout the day to turn it on for you. Parlez-vous français, allemand, espagnol, oui? No. Well, that's okay. You don't have to be fluent in all languages to be successful internationally. In fact, we have many US-based publishers performing well internationally. Based off of their 2012 sales data, some of the top countries include UK, Canada, France, Australia, uh, Singapore, China. So where's the opportunity here? Well, we took a closer look at advertisers within CJ, and we found that 90% of advertisers in our network see traffic beyond their core targeted country. 90%. This is huge. Right. And if you look at it from a search perspective, this is a great chance for search publishers, for instance, to figure out an advertiser, look at where their targeted countries are, maybe find other countries they ship in, and if the advertiser doesn't have a search campaign going, just talk to the advertiser and see if they'll allow you to run search on their behalf in one of those other countries. It's a great way to get in the door and speak to advertisers about expanding their promotion. And a second example, George and I took a random country, Sweden, and we reviewed all the advertisers in CJ that target Sweden. So in Commission Junction, they've indicated that Sweden is of target to them. So with that, we found that 700 advertisers have indicated this. So if you were interested in developing or creating a Swedish site, you have the advertisers to start with. Now we did promise you that we're gonna show you the future. And so when we look at an opportunity here at CJ, we started launching items and products and functionalities for our publishers, but we don't just stop with what we've shown you. Today, we like to give you a sneak peek into what's coming up for publishers in Commission Junction. Commission Junction continuously invests in creating tools to assist with publisher growth and innovation. As the world of technology is ever-changing, 
so isn't the affiliate marketing industry, as we all know. And to adapt to these marketing challenges, publishers have had to have fluidity like never before. CJ is excited to offer you the solutions to withstand the test of time. So whether that is with mobile, product feeds, paper call or site to store, we hope we've inspired you today to take a closer look at these products to help propel your business into 2014 and beyond. Like I said, publishers are the painters, but you don't have to do it alone. Publishers, if you're in the audience right now and you have a manager that works with you, the next thing you need to do is set up a strategy session with that manager to talk about these tools and really figure out how to integrate that into your business. Your managers will know the best way and work with you to even introduce you to Jane or Nicole to even figure out how to get those experts to help you integrate it into your promotions. Non-managed publishers, we're not going to leave you out on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with this, no. We have business consultants available that over the next couple of weeks can reach out to you and offer you the same strategy session with your business. So especially if you're starting out or if you need some assistance moving to the next level, bring up your card, give it to Kristen or I, and we can let our business consultants know to contact you in the next couple of weeks and set up one of these strategy sessions. This is just the beginning. We got some cool stuff coming up. And I'd like to thank you for coming. Thank you.